WFISD officials met with parents and other community members tonight to discuss areas where the school district needs improvement. Aaron Gonders was in attendance at the Community Advisory Council meeting. And Aaron, what did you learn while you were there tonight? Well, first off, this is the first of several upcoming meetings like this between the WFISD and the community. Today, Superintendent Dr. Donnie Lee was ready to meet and discuss ways to elevate other areas of the school district after the massive undertaking of opening the two new high schools in August. Uh, this, now look at this across all three schools. With the high schools in the rear view, the WFISD is ready to start work to elevate other areas of the school district. The Community Advisory Council was brought together to provide ideas for how the WFISD could turn its attention from its high schools to the next area of concern, its middle schools. We want to do something that's pretty radical. We want to completely rethink how we do middle school. We know we need to rethink everything in order to get the best possible outcomes from our students. Some of the data the council poured over was made up of previous star scores and socioeconomic breakdowns of the three middle schools demographics, and several council members along with David Cook saw one school in desperate need of changes to level the playing field. What can we do to raise the, the levels of success, both academically, socially, and, and just from a positive standpoint, what we can do in the community to help all three of our middle schools, but with a focus on the Hershey Middle School situations that we're dealing with now. Another conclusion drawn from the STAR test scores was a noticeable dip in performance in students transitioning from the fifth grade to the sixth grade, the gap in between the middle school and the elementary schools. A potential solution to the problem was a dedicated sixth grade center. Physically, there's such a difference from a sixth grader to an eighth grader, and it's just we have to find some ways to, to support that transition from elementary into middle school because we feel that not only will it help test scores but also just the mental health of our students right now. All of the ideas brought to Dr. Lee today will be compiled and presented at later meetings in hopes a new path can help the middle schools in Wichita Falls get up to par. If you want to take your if you want to make your voice heard on the future of the WFISD, the date has not yet been announced for the next community advisory council meeting, but eventually the ideas from these meetings will be presented to the WFISD Board of Trustees. Okay, it looks like leaders here in the school district are trying a new approach to get answers. Okay, Aaron, thank you so much for taking us there tonight.